No, it's coming in, but it's like on a limb, I think. But it is coming in. Actually, no, that's a fish. <laughs> that we're gonna catch some big fish today and oh, I made it without falling into the water. So got Nick here with me. Hello. Navigating the boat. I'm the trailer man, he's the boat man. That's how it works out because I drive trucks for the army. All right, we're gonna head out in the water and hope we can catch some big fish. Um, pretty sunny day, a lot of wind though. So I don't really know, a lot of wind. A lot of wind. I'm, we're still we're gonna catch some fish. I, I feel good about it. So stick we're with us. Fish. We're gonna fish, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, there's some good content for you guys. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna trash it anyway. So you won't know if there's not good content. So we'll catch you when we get out to our first spot. Yeah, this is crazy. Well, guys, we made it to our first spot. I'm gonna start with this jig. It's a green pumpkin. I think it's called, what is it called? Rotten pumpkin, maybe? I don't know. I think it's called rotten pumpkin jig. With a rattling chunk on the back. I don't know, it's green, it's orange. It's a Guggen Squad jig with a rattling chunk trailer on it. We're gonna work this cliff here while the wind pushes us way off into nowhere. So we'll see what happens. All right, spot number two, bluff number two. There is significantly less wind right here. Significant, yeah. A, a so ton. the trees and bluffs are definitely um, better over here. There we go. Also, this is a brand new combo, so I don't even know what the settings are like. This is probably gonna bird's nest pretty bad. Yep, let's turn that up a bit. Still pretty loose. All right, that's better. Thank you, Jeff. How deep? Uh, thirty feet. Higher. Fifty feet. Forty-seven. Forty-seven feet of water. Nice. And I'm using a spinner bait. It goes about two and a half feet deep. Bold, bold strategy. I'm gonna stand by it though. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast it out and just let it drop. <laughs> and then I'll reel it in. Not so professional fishing tip. If your bait doesn't work for the water you're in, just let it sink. <laughs> just don't change lures, change tactics. Yeah, it looks good. I guess it holds more than the weight of like a small child. Yeah, holds more than the weight of your child. Yeah, which is actually really light. They're probably not super active, but. All right, guys. Oh my gosh, it's just my lure, yeah. <laughs> Time to switch it up again. Gonna go with the TKF Tackle Predator there, bladed jig. If you want 10% off, you can use code Freedom Fisherman and get 10% off. Pretty sweet little bladed jig though. I mean, it's simple, but they got some really cool colors. I'm not gonna lie. This, like, I call it fire craw. I don't know what they actually call it, like a blazon or something like that. But I call them all fire craw. I got some blades. Oh yeah? 
and just make them bladed. Sweet. Because as you can see here, I have a box just straight up full of jigs. I've got them doubled up in a lot of the spots because I have a problem. All right. Yeah, I have a serious bladed jig problem. I mean, is it a problem though if you love them? Yeah, I think so. Is it still a problem? I think so. Okay. All right, and there we go. Sticking with the Saucy Swimmer trailer. What's going on with you? General oh, yeah. Societal terms. You know, just because the drug addict likes the drugs. Yeah, it doesn't make them right. Doesn't mean it's. <laughs> The reason I moved back to the Ozarks was to get out of the wind. That's how everybody fishes bladed jigs, right? Oh my gosh. That was not fun at all. Nine o'clock, I was like, I don't necessarily want to drive the boat. Right. I don't think I'm qualified. <laughs> Maybe the water's still cold enough that they're just like watching this thing go by and like, nah, it's not worth it today. Too cold. Ooh, yikes. Yep, that was not what I had in mind. That goes down further than I'd like it to. Jeez, this is like almost down to the spool. Yeah, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. No, it's coming in, but it's like on a limb, I think. No, that's a fish, I think. Oh no, that is a limb. It just, it flopped in the wind. And I was like, that's a fish. It is definitely a limb. Uh, no, that is a fish. flipping full sand that's not bad that's not a bad fish so uh here we go okay can you grab my camera or my phone there and take a picture uh, that <laughs> can't really leave the well yeah that's true that is a really good fish there ladies and gentlemen i mean probably just shy of two pounds Some, you think? i got a scale somewhere let's see if there's a scale well, I really hope that I'm recording. I don't even know if the GoPro is recording or not. I haven't turned it off, so. I think it's in here. It's, it's, uh, it's actually... Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, perfect. Go. One point four nine. One and a half. Yeah. One and a half pounder. One and a half pounds. So guys, the trick to catching fish uh, is to bird's nest, undo your line, take a very long time to undo your bird's nest, uh, let your jig sit probably at the bottom, 
and then uh, think that you're caught on a log. And that is the best. Uh, that is the best advice I can give you guys. What I tell you, man? The jig. I just. That was not technique or skill. <laughs> that was not technique or skill. That was straight up dumb luck. That's why we're the unlucky anglers. <laughs> I mean, literally, I unspooled that line down to the, or undid that down to the spool, basically. And then I just started reeling it in, and I was like, that's kind of heavy. I think I got caught on a, a log down there. And then. When I looked back, it looked like you were caught. And I was like, oh, it's not coming in. I mean, he engulfed it though. I mean, I don't know if you, the camera can see it when I pulled it in. That he had that whole jig and the the little rattling chunk, because that's so. This is what I'm throwing right here. I mean, like literally, the definition of my confidence bait right here. It's a green pumpkin jig with a green pumpkin trailer. Like that. There's nothing else to it. Yeah. I don't even have to be Guggen, I just, <laughs> most of my stuff is Guggen. And he had choked it. I mean, it was, it was in the gullet. There's no hot water on the tail. But, I mean, we are getting into, I mean, what is it, April 10th, so spawn should be happening anytime yeah start to see some bloody tails that's gonna be like the worst fish catch on youtube because <laughs> i'm like literally reeling it in going yep that's a log that's a log that's a log no that's a fish You're like this guy's posting youtube videos of fishing he doesn't even know what a fish is He really wasn't, he was just kind of laying there. He didn't fight until I slowed it down. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll give it a shot. Yep, just got knocked. I feel like it's significantly more shallow up here too. <laughs> Yep, got him. That's a good fish. Okay, uh, full send. Just gonna boat flip. Yep. Just yep. break your rod off. Woo! Just break your rod off. That's a better fish than the first one. Oh my gosh. Wasn't even I barely even touched the jig, you just and the hook came out. Even... I just boat flipped a fish that. Didn't even. Hook Ladies and gents, that is significantly better than the first one. Uh, if you don't own a Guggen Squad Juicy Jig. I don't even have any affiliation with Guggen Squad. Go buy one. That's that's nuts. Another couple of pictures. Okay. Two point one six pounds. Yep. A lot better fish. Woo! That's a good healthy. Look at that tummy too, man. Woo, it's a fat fish. Already better fish than Norm. <laughs> you hear that, Norm? Because we have a scale. It's true. I'm just kidding, Norm. We love you. You're my favorite. He catches way more fish than us. You ready to go there, big guy? Kind of. He's thinking about it. There he goes. Yeah. There he goes. A little flare for the dramatic. Yep. All right. Not bad. I mean, I I feel like I have to say it. It's the, it's the jig. It's the magic of the jig. Is it still pretty deep in, in here? Two and a half. Oh, so no. 
Well, that was a tree limb. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, the old tree pounder. Love it. I'm exhausted. My back hurts. My hair's all messy. Everything hurts. <laughs> we were only out here, what, four hours? I don't even know what time it is, so sure. Like four hours. We caught two fish. I caught two fish. Yeah. You broke off on a couple. I drove the boat. You drove the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great day. Um, had a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll get to do this a lot more this summer than we did last summer. So uh, we're going to take the boat. Try to put it back on the trailer without getting blown all over the lake. So this should be pretty interesting. I'm not going to film any of it. Um, because we did it, it on might the first be a nightmare. Try. We did it on the first try. That's, no that's all you need to know. We did it perfectly on the first try. And there's no video evidence to prove it. So thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And we'll see you next time.